Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. Gonna do a quick video on this stack on gun cabinet that I got. This is a 14 gun cabinet, and uh, it's just a little cheap metal cabinet. It's not a safe, you know. It's not. It's not gonna be as secure as this. Um, but you know, it's just a nice cabinet that you can uh, store your guns in, keep them, keep them away from children, and uh, it's not very expensive. So I just thought I would do a quick video on it. Now, I got it from Royal King. It was like just over a hundred dollars, like a hundred and ten dollars plus uh, shipping. So I think it was like a hundred and thirty dollars total. Um, came with this bag of hardware and uh, actually all the uh, little um, dividers and the shelf and everything, you know, that all came in this bag. So you had to install it yourself, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, of course, this also has your instructions. Um, it also came with this little uh, travel lock box, um, which is kind of nice. Has a key also. And comes a little cable, you can tie it to something. And uh, you can actually store a one small gun in here, um, or you know just other valuables that you might have. So that was kind of kind of a nice touch. If we open up the cabinet here. It's got it comes with two keys. Um, well, four keys if you count the two that come with that. That's you know they're different keys, but two keys for that, two keys for this. And uh, this is a, a cabinet that you could probably actually fit 14 long guns in. Let me see if I can get on the other side of the light here. Um, just based off of how the uh, front uh, racks are spaced from the back racks, you could probably actually fit the amount of guns that it says you can fit. Plus, um, I've got three guns up here. I got my Taurus, uh, my Sky, and my Ruger Blackhawk on the top there. Um, so you can fit a few handguns in there, and I'm sure you could um, maybe, depending on how what size guns you have, you could probably fit four up there, maybe. Um, you could probably also rig something up to fit more. But if you look here, you have three um, spaces on each side, so six spaces, and then you have eight that go along the back. Now... I do have, I'm going to have to make a modification to this. I'm going to have to put a, um, a platform, like a raised platform at the bottom because these racks are not adjustable and as you can see, you know, most of my guns are short. Um, my Mossberg 500 there just barely fits in the rack. Um, all my other guns that are in here fit, you know, but like my 930 there, if you can see, it's kind of hard to see with this light, but that's my 930 right there with the, the breacher barrel. Um, and it just barely fits in there too, my Maverick 88. Um, but like my AK and my AR and uh, a couple other guns that I have, they're way too short, like they're four or five inches too short of even fitting in here. So I'm gonna have to raise the bottom so I can even fit them in here. But so far all I've got are uh, my 17 HMR, I got my Thompson 30-06 here, and then I got four Mossberg shotguns in the back. Um, you probably, I don't even know if you'd be able to see it, but my 20-gauge Maverick is back there in the corner. And uh, what's kind of cool is this shelf, um, it does fit a little, like a few inches away from the back, so you can actually put the barrel back behind the shelf. Let me see if I can grab this light here. Yeah, so the barrel just barely fits up above that shelf. The, you probably can't see it because the torus is in the way. Um, but you can actually fit long barrels back there, you know, even longer barrels than that. Um, but I got my, uh, my Maverick 88 20 gauge, my 930, my uh, Mossberg 500, and then my other Maverick 88. Uh, my home defense gun is right there. Um... And, you know, when this comes to you, all these racks are not even installed. You have to install them yourself. they got some Phillips head screws that 
let's see if you can be able to see it here. Got some Phillips head screws that fit on the outside and it's a real pain to put this thing, put all this stuff on here. You like, you really need two people to do it, but I was able to do it with just me, um, but it sucked. Um, but anyway, yeah, so far I think it's a pretty decent cabinet. Um, it's not super secure. I mean, it's just a metal cabinet, very thin metal, and it's got a locking, it locks on the top. Um, does it lock? Yeah, it locks on the on the side and on the bottom. So it's good enough to keep keep kids out. Um, you know, maybe if if it's just a small time thief that breaks into your house, they're probably they might not even try to break into it. I don't know. Um, but I'm not really concerned with break-ins here. I mean, I've got a bunch of guns in there, and that's way less secure than this. But of course, this is way less secure than this, and this really isn't the best safe either, but um, it is, you know, if somebody's going to break in here, they're going to break into that first, that second, and that third, so I don't know, I'm probably going to have to rearrange all the guns that I have and uh, figure out which ones I want in which um, container, and eventually I'll probably get another big safe like this, or maybe even bigger, and just put as many guns as I can in that, and then this becomes overflow for that, and then this becomes overflow for this. And then, you know, maybe I'll have a few guns in there. You know, it kind of just depends on how many guns I have at the time and uh, what kind of safe I end up getting. But <clears throat> this is a, a good, cheap alternative to a safe if you don't have a lot of money. And, you know, if you don't have a lot of money, usually you're not going to have guns that are very expensive anyway. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind keeping my less expensive guns in this <clears throat> cabinet. So... You know, and all the guns I have in here are uh, some of my lesser expensive guns. Like the most expensive one I have in here was probably that Thompson uh, .30-06 right there, and that was only like 400 bucks. Um, but I am probably going to put my AR and my AK in here, so those are a little more expensive, but uh, not as expensive as some of the guns that I have in here. So yeah. Anyway, that is the stack on 13 or 14 gun cabinet um <clears throat> not not a bad cabinet for the price um i mean it's no safe obviously but it is better than just a glass and wood cabinet um and it does fit it does actually fit 14 guns depending on the size guns you have and how thick they are um but i think you could fit a good you know a good 14 12, at least 12 guns in there. So yeah, that's a stack on 14 gun cabinet. Oh yeah, I was gonna say that they do make these in other sizes. They make like eight gun cabinets and they make even bigger cabinets with like two doors, I think. Um, but you know, this I thought was the best bang for the buck. And I was it was the only one that Rural King had on their site, at least at the time. But you can get other sizes of these stack on cabinets. So, subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook, I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.